close your eyes, close your eyes. Well, I'm Steven from Kiwi Box. I'm music editor, and today we are sitting here with Donnie Kling of Making the Band 4. Sir, how's it going? Going good. How's it going for you? Very good. Very busy. Excellent. Yeah. Um, so, heard a couple of titles being thrown around. Yeah. For the album, what's it gonna be officially called? The official title is Just the Rolling Stone. Mm -hmm. um, I heard like Come Into My World and all that, but I think that was just like somebody put that online. So, uh -huh. yeah. yeah, so but when's it slated for release? It's Just the Rolling Stone, Donnie Klein, August 19th, and we got a new season of Making the Band coming in August also, so it's gonna cool. be crazy, crazy summer. Yeah, you have Diddy on the first single yeah. called uh, Take You There. Take You There, featuring Diddy, available on iTunes. Excellent. Um, is he as much of a perfectionist as people say he is? Yeah, absolutely. He's, uh, he's tough. He's just like, he's a boss and it's his label. So like the reputation is not only on him, but it's on the label and he wants his artists to be like top notch, top of the line. So he's a perfectionist to the point where he's not going to release you if you're not at the top of your game at all moments, whether it's an interview like this or mm -hmm. it's just being in the studio or a live show. So he's, he's definitely tough, but it's worth it. Cool. What do you think of the reaction so far from the fans? I mean, I'm, I love it. It's like, this is what I dreamed of since I was little, especially like with the fans and seeing like the craze and like just walking through and sometimes like a girl will just like start crying and shaking. They can't even take the picture because they're shaking. Like to me, that's crazy. I'm like, stop, please don't cry. I don't want to make you cry or whatever, but it's, it's sick. It's crazy. Yeah. So. Rumor has it you've got Britney on a track. Is there any truth no, to that? No, that? that was actually rumor? just a rumor. Okay, yeah. just clearing that up. Yeah. Um, what other guest stars can we expect on the album? Um, well, we got Diddy, and then um, the rest of it is basically just going to be me. Mm -hmm. um, it's my first album, so I wanted it to be like kind of introduction to who I am as a singer, as a songwriter, as a vocalist, and all that. I just wanted it to be just about me. But we might throw in something like a surprise song. But we'll see. Any guest appearances from other Making the Band contestants, maybe? Uh, not on this album, no. So, um, on Making the Band 4, we saw you in the studio with Seven. Yeah. He has a very, his own work ethic. Eclectic. Yes. <laughs> uh, what was it like being in the studio with him? Um, at first, it was, it was different, and uh, I was kind of taken back. But to me, it was like, it opened up my world to being an artist and singing and just sessions in studios in general, because I've... I've been doing sessions for like five, six, seven years, and I've never had one like that. So he's mm. just the type, he's the type that he'll have you talking about him when you leave the room, and when he leaves the room, you'll sit there talking about him for 10 minutes, and you'll talk about his music, because his music is amazing. And it's just, to me, like now when I go into studio sessions, I want to have candles and like fog machines and everything, because it really, like, it, it, it opens up the whole mood. It's like, it's sick. Yeah. Uh -huh. What other producers do you have on the album? I worked with the Soul Diggers. They did the single, Take You There. Mm -hmm. um, me and a writer, Corte, wrote it. He wrote Get Naked on Britney Spears' album, so he has that like sexy vibe to his writing. I worked with Brian Cox, Mario Winans, Danger in the Clutch. Um, there's actually a chance that I might get some of my production onto the album also. So Excellent. It's all up in the air. It's crazy. Cool. Um, so do you follow Making the Band 4 episodes as they premiere? Yeah, we, we actually, up until this season, we sometimes we don't even get the episode before it airs so we see it for the first time when fans see it mm -hmm. and I got friends calling me up like oh my god what happened with you and Aubrey and I'm like <sighs> yeah so yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's definitely a, it's a joy ride yeah how does it feel to um, see yourself on TV it must be kind of crazy it's, it's cool it's like all of us are just performers at heart and like We've always wanted this to happen, so we just we love seeing it. But sometimes it gets to the point, like especially a reality show, that the cameras are in your face 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It gets to the point where you're like, oh my god, please just just let me let me get an hour of sleep without you in my face and stuff. But at the end of the day, it's like the show is basically a behind the scenes look at where we came from as artists, from like day one of possibly getting a record deal on Bad Boy, and like to to this point where we're in the studio, they're behind the scenes, we're in rehearsals, they're behind the scenes, so. It's, I like it. I like it way better because we're like in touch with our fans. They get to see what we do on a daily basis. Mm. Was there ever one time during the show where you were watching and you just wish you could jump in and just yell at yourself not to do what you're about to do? Yeah, when um, when Diddy, I was we were doing like a dance elimination in the first season I was on, and uh, Diddy was sending people to the can't dance section, and when he sent me there, I was like, really. And it just slipped out, and right after it slipped out, 
I would have bet a million dollars he was going to just cut me and send me home, but he didn't. So maybe it's a good thing. Maybe I shouldn't jump back and stop myself from saying it because maybe that did like give him like a different level of respect for me, even mm -hmm. though it was disrespectful at the same time. I don't know. Yeah. Do your friends and family back home, do they have like viewing parties? Do they watch it yeah. religiously? Yeah, we, we had like a big party um, during the first, first premiere of the first episode because that was like the big moment. That was like the first time on TV and everything. So that was, we had a big party, friends and family and stuff. And we just, we, whenever I'm home, I try to watch it with family and stuff. Just mm. so, I mean, some episodes this past season, I didn't want to be with family and I didn't want my sisters to watch, but they watched. Uh -huh. <laughs> the reaction's been good so far? Yeah, awesome. It's been uh -huh. crazy. Cool. Um, and before you got signed to Bad Boy and yeah. the whole making the band thing, you were in college. Yeah. Do you have any plans to continue that um, in the near yeah. future? I mean, definitely. Like, that's just a dream of mine to go dorm at a school somewhere and just like, make new friends and that whole, that whole end of it. But it's, gonna, it's probably going to be a while. We'll be busy. I might take online classes in the meantime. But I mean, before this, like, I was singing in groups and I had taken off school to sing with my groups on the road and I lost a scholarship. I wrote a long letter when I was going back to college like, listen, I pursued my dream. I didn't get to, I didn't make it. I want to come back to school. Can I please have my scholarship back? They gave it back to me and a month later I auditioned for making the band and I had to stop going to school again. So I lost the scholarship again, but it worked out. Yeah, yeah, it did. <laughs> so you got the upcoming tour with yeah. Jenny Kane, J26, and Sherry Dennis. Sherry Dennis, also. Um, how are you gearing up for that? Uh, we've been in rehearsals like eight hours a day, um, jogging in the morning, jogging and singing, making sure like my lungs are up and everything. And then I've actually, I'm still finishing my album, so I've been going to the studio after that. So it's been, it's been long days, but I'm loving every minute. Like this has been a dream since I was little, like mm -hmm. I said. So it's like every minute is just crazy. Yeah, is this your first tour? This is my first tour, like, nationally with, mm -hmm. like, like, the real deal. Yeah. I've done shows and everything, but this is, like, this is the real deal. It's yeah. crazy. What are you looking forward to most about it? Um, definitely just the performance. I'm only, I'm the opening act, so I'm only going on for, like, ten minutes. So, I mean, it's kind of, it's going to be, like, a tease, basically. And I'm just going to be up there and then off, and I'm like, oh, man, I wish I had more time. But, like, like, every step is just a step getting to, like, that level. Mm -hmm. So this is my first step. Are there any cities that you're looking forward to playing the most? Well, New York is my hometown. Mm -hmm. um, I know I have a lot of people coming out to support me from my hometown. And, uh, and then I just, I've been making friends. I've been doing radio promotion and stuff on the West Coast. So I have friends out there now. So I'm excited to do like all that West Coast stuff also. So it's, it's gonna be sick from cool. front to back. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah, well, final question. Any words of advice for Kiwi Box members who might wanna break into the music biz one day? Yeah, I mean, definitely just, just keep practicing and keep doing what you're doing because once you get to the point where you say, all right, I got a record deal, maybe I can let back a little bit now, it just it gets even tougher and the practice steps up even more. So as prepared as you can be for that moment when you do get a record deal, the better because it's just going to get harder from there. So This has been an exclusive Kiwi Box interview with Donnie Klang from Making the Band 4. I'm Stephen Harwitz. Thanks for checking in. What's going on, everybody? It's your friend Donnie Klang from Making the Band 4, Bad Boy's newest solo artist. You're watching me on KiwiBox.com.